All right, so in juxtaposition of Oscar and getting like tea and like practice, like nice wraps around his hand, RC is in the back of some bar. She's on a table and like Cyclops <laughs> like telling the guy, the surgeon, like to not fuck it up as her shirt's pulled up and he's like her her dark skin is. Uh, is just like the like the blood that's like seeping out of it, and the pus that's seeping out of it is just a stark contrast against her her uh, her, uh, uh, her her inky black skin, and uh, and and there's there's a surgeon uh, stitching up that stab wound she got. Um, I'm doing a recovery. Nice. Uh, so it says this is the in recovery level one wounds just go away, and level uh, ones just go away. Yep. And so um, I am trying to. So that's my flesh wound, uh, but my my stab wound I want to want to recover. Okay, so you're getting treatment from a. So I think here's the here's the current situation. You don't have access to the crow's doctor because you're like not dealing with them right now. Yep. Uh, you guys don't have somebody who does this stuff. So it, it sounds like Cyclops has found like a, a street doc barber. Yeah. Well, I can roll for it. I mean, if I advance the fiction too much, I can back up. No, 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 no. this is good. Yeah, this, this is totally fine. Um, I, I just need to know, to, to, I'm, I, what I need to assess when you, when you recover is if the treatment just happens or if the treatment itself is, is risky in some way. Mm. Yeah. And this guy carving at you might be risky yeah yeah sure seems like it could be yeah uh, i don't think i have like the the same kind of quelling situation where um i've got like someone who's in the know about this shit yeah that, that sounds right yeah i think so i think you're just going out to whoever cyclops can dig up and they're yeah. they're skilled but they gotta you know they're like uh, okay they, they gotta feel around and see if you've got internal bleeding and um sew you up and pack the wound with whatever and yeah. Uh, so yeah let's see just for fun let's see if it makes if they make it worse or not that sounds good <laughs> uh so would i roll like consort to like round up somebody even though it wasn't like necessarily me or a command to like tell them what to do i don't know if command doesn't really seem right i'm not like barking orders at them like go get yeah, it it, it, that's okay. In, in this case, um, I I can I can quick bring in a, a NPC that's like outside the gang here, uh, okay. the street doc. Who I mean, is, I guess I could spend an action like round up an asset. Is that is that still on our still on our? Yes, yes. You you could do that you, if you want to do that first and actually find a like highly or at least standard trained doctor first. Um, that's a thing you could do instead. Do you guys mind and if I then, blow some wine? Uh, yes, because <laughs> I have counts exact. Although, Sean, uh, one of the things you can do is keep in mind that Quellen is actually employed by our gang. She's on our hawker sheet. Yeah. So you can actually go to her and seek treatment. Yeah, you are totally allowed to use her. Okay. Uh, like she's, not, she's not mine and a secret. She actually works for the gang, and you guys know. Oh, her. right. I thought she was, uh, I thought she, yeah, you're right. We I thought paid she was in off. advance for her. She's our expert. Yeah. Um, yeah, that makes sense. I mean, it doesn't seem like it's RC style, but like, I kind of do think it'd be funny if like she comes in after, I don't want to reverse the fiction, but she comes in after like this horribly botched job and, and, uh, like she's like passing Oscar, like as like Oscar's leaving and she's going in, she's like holding her side, you know? Yeah. It'd be, it'd be no, I, I like that actually. Let, let's, let's, let's stick with that. Like, Cyclops found some dude and he stitched you up and then the next day you were like the, the, all the bed sheets were like covered in blood yeah. and pus from the moon and you're like oh god like you you can't feel your whole right side you got a fever gross um, so you're like I okay I'm gonna go to the witch <laughs> oh you're gonna go to the witch yeah I love it okay that's awesome that's great that's great yeah so so yeah she uh, art already has pots bubbling and seems to kind of expect you when you when you show yeah, up. That's creepy. It's, I don't like um, that. Yeah. 
so she she does a bunch of crazy stuff uh she takes some of your blood and and boils it in this little iron um tiny iron pot uh and then pours it into her tea and and tastes it and makes all these pronouncements about your bodily humors and how you have imbalances whatever um and then um takes moss that's growing on this tree that grows in her apartment takes handfuls of this moss off um gives you this little tea to sip on which immediately like puts you in this weird trance state and then just like viciously just like pulls the wound open and packs moss into the wound uh and then does a pretty good job. Uh, well, we'll, we'll see. Oh, nice. well, you know, you know what they say: an open wound gathers no moss. So, <laughs> she does this nice little double stitch uh, wound, and it's huge and purple and bruised now. But the actual like wound is this little tiny, like stitched thing that she's that she's managed to close up. <clears throat> so, RC that, knowing that, nothing about like med- medicine. But do, but knowing vaguely that there's something that's just been shoved inside of her is like, does this, how, where is that, oh, fuck, I don't care. Yeah, and in six weeks when the spiders hatch, of course, you'll have to come back and have the stitches <laughs> yeah. taken out. <laughs> have those removed. Right, she, so what, she tells you why she put the moss in you, and it doesn't, like, it doesn't make any sense. It's just this, she says a bunch of stuff about humors and fluids and the ether and stuff, and you're like, okay. <laughs> it's just... Is it going to feel better tomorrow or anytime soon? Um, So what's the clock for getting rid of a stab wound? Stab wound, uh, let's call it six. Okay. Yeah, it's a a deep puncture. There's definitely some kind of internal damage that that Barbara Guy couldn't address and apparently Quellen's Moss will take care of, supposedly. Okay. So... Um, uh, I or you, somebody can roll for Quellen if we want. Do it up. Is that One, for to do recovery or is that to do? Uh, for the long-term project of healing. Yeah. Um, I assume you want to do that too. I would like to do that, yes. Okay. What's the, what, is the, what do you roll to do? So her, her quality currently is one. Okay. So she can roll one die to. Okay. I'll, I'll, I'll roll one. I'm I'm good at role playing, not really. <laughs> oh yeah, I suck at this game. Wow. All right. Done. Um. So I get yes. one normally, but because I am uh, resilient, uh, I get two. Yes. You are good at healing injuries. All right. Okay. Um, so I wanted to spend my one coin to like investigate Lord Keel, but uh, I think I'm going to hold off and let Oscar do this thing because I think Oscar's got some better plans, and I might help with those. But okay, all right, you guys ready? Yep. So I am totally going to tap another one of our hawker resources, which is Anya the dilettante. And I'm going to head down um, and talk to her. And it's, uh, uh, the, there's two specific things that I want to do. Uh, so I'm going to talk to her a little bit about fashion and things. And I'm going to ask her about uh, actually calligraphers. Uh, because we have a tattoo guy. And I've been kind of watching him. And he's got a steady hand. He pulls clean lines. You know, He's got his technique down. Uh, but his designs are very crude. So what I think I'm going to do is actually get him a design and then have it be extra fancy, super key and neat, and then uh, have him actually do the tattoo. Um, Not the so long project to... RC was hoping Oscar was working on. Uh, uh, don't worry. <laughs> I, I, I've, I've, got, I've, I've got plans. <laughs> so the, 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 I'm actually going to try and acquire two assets. The first one is a badass tattoo pattern that is uh, made by some crazy calligrapher so that it's all stylish and cool. Um, and the second thing that I'm looking to get is a second asset, which is an invite for Cantor to one of the big fancy parties that his captain lady might also go to where he can show off said tattoo and perhaps convince other people that they need to get them. 
uh, because my goal is to work on our next job, which is to expand our base of operations and uh, see if we can uh, get yeah, our expand goods. Yeah, change your clientele into the uh, nobility, perhaps. Right, we don't, the, we don't just yeah. want regular clientele. We want supreme clientele. Yeah. And and if you we, have dead I, bodies dumped in a cellar, uh, or not dead, but like stu stupor stupefied uh, bodies dumped in a cellar, Cheap tattoos done by unskilled labor. Although you did have Brogan, uh, but he's his contract is up for a new. Um, uh, and so yeah, so you want to go move up that. I actually kind of skip the 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 merchant class and get up into the nobility, right? And uh, hopefully, if they start asking around, other people might come and get product from us, I mean, which plus, means that our clients. I was just gonna say we plus plus we have the advantage of like we should be going after. The sort of younger, like more rebellious nobles. Like we want to get the ones that are going to be like looking for like cool slummy bars to go to, and like ones that'll be like, I got a tattoo to piss off my parents. Like, mm -hmm. get in, get mm -hmm. in on that shit. And it talks to me at night. Oh wait. Yeah, totally. <laughs> They're so, like edgy, so edgy teenagers, basically. So uh, the other thing is that if they start asking for it in other tattoo shops, then those tattoo artists will look for our product, which means that our product will start filtering into the city. So I'm setting up essentially a job to acquire that network, which is going to be our next um, lateral move. So that's that's what I'm doing. I'm, I'm doing uh, acquire I'm asset you. stuff. I'm totally with you. I, uh, I'm picking up what you're putting down. Word. <clears throat> um, setting up future scores, right? A good what? Imagine that. <laughs> Shush. <laughs> As though. Uh, All, right. Cool. All right. So first is looking for this calligrapher uh, to, and you're you're not looking for the calligrapher. You're looking to like buy some some designs. Yeah, we'll probably walk into a couple of shops. I want to have the dilettante with me because she knows high society and stuff. And then we'll yeah. agree on something. We'll give him essentially like a test, and I'll pay him the money to actually buy the pattern. Yeah, so Anya, she's um, the sixth child uh, of of her family, and is not gonna like really inherit um, anything great. She's not gonna captain a ship. She's not gonna be in charge of uh, electroplasm supplies or any stuff like that. So uh, let's see. Let me give you her family name. Um, she is a bowman. Is her name Anya Bowman? And you know, pretty much all the noble names, they're like they're like the, the brands of Duskwall. <laughs> like everybody knows. She's like Anya. Yes, the Bowman's okay. long uh, bowman, composite bowman, short bowman. <laughs> so like everyone's heard her name, but she she has nothing much to do. She she spends most of her time like learning interesting skills and uh Esoteric things and and also like getting involved. With, uh, uh, and she is a user. She she is a she's she's not a like deep psychotropic uh, explorer of weird mental states. But she she likes to you know party and do a bump here and there. And Man, try I gotta, out. I gotta put that on my resume now. Deep explorer of psychotropic states. <laughs> get behind some of that action I, I have this I have this vision that our tattoos like when they're done in the color will as like the drug seeps out of your system the color will fade so when the tattoo clears you know it's time to get another oh so they're they're temporary tattoos kind of are they are they like they... the line work stays but the color will probably yeah your body metabolizes the demon blood which is totally Awesome, I'm sure. Nothing could go yeah, wrong. With it's the plan. best. It's how many? How many of those tattoos do you have, Oscar? So far, nobody has seen me without my shirt, but uh, uh, it's significant. That's significant. Yeah, yeah. That's what I thought. Um, cool. So yeah, so Anya is interested, um, and she she knows a bunch of like scribes and boring people that her parents know that are like really good at writing or whatever and it's really dumb um, but she can introduce you and take you around and it's, it's one of those things like the request is so boring that she's like she's like 
excited about it because she's like, ooh, like, what is this going to be? This is going to be really weird. You want to talk to people who write words? That's like the dullest thing in the world. <laughs> and, and, so. Yeah, so I'll, I'll, I'll sort, sort of play it out to keep her interested and give her a little bit of a vote to, you know, make it exciting. But yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Yep. So would you say that's a consort? I believe so. Well, you're so you're uh, are you acquiring the asset right now, right? Yes, right. Okay. Yeah, that's correct. And so you're already in position. You don't have to consort Anya. She's your contact. You can just do it. Um, and then the okay. the uh, acquire role is use the cruise tier. Use their your, your tier plus one because I am bringing along somebody that totally knows stuff about this. Correct. Fantastic. Let's see how this goes. Four. Nice. nice. So that will get you a standard asset. I burn a coin. I want it to be fine. You want it to be fine, yep. You can yes. burn you can you can burn another one for exceptional calligraphic tattoo designs if you want to go crazy. I'm tempted. What? But I, 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 am, I, am, I, I need to spend a coin to trigger the last action, so I don't have it. <laughs> so I think we're gonna have to go with fine. So how much? How much coin out of the out of our four in the coppers are is as Oscar blowing through? Uh, two right now. There's okay. about a third to be gone. So. Cool. But it will pay back because we will totally have. No, no, it's totally cool. It's all good. I just I have personal coinage that I might be blowing for uh, for a another op, another thing. So it's all good. You you use as much as you need. It's all cool. It's all cool. Okay, cool. So we get a fine set of tattoos, which uh, I guess if you're not convincing your lady friend to wear, uh, you're probably gonna need to sit for Cantor. Yeah, man. I'm in. And then. Um, can I can I roll to uh, to acquire an invite for Cantor? I would also like an asset. Yes, and just so this opportunity doesn't pass you by, uh, making that if that design is exceptional, it's effectively tier three. Um, I'm just saying. Like, <laughs> uh, I'll tell you. I'll tell you what. If I if I if I spend a personal coin to fuel that design and don't do anything personal with it, um, can can we say that this uh, calligrapher will do business with us in the future? We can actually just purchase more collect calligraphy from him. Yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah. If you if you go uh, above and beyond here and like buy his finest works. Um, then he'll definitely entertain future business dealings with you for sure. Done. Yeah. I'll spend the last of my personal coin. We have an exceptional design. Nice. That's how you get the attention of rich people. Exceptional designs. Exceptional. Yeah. Everybody has fine stuff. All right. Uh, last thing. Uh, can I roll to acquire that invite? Yes. Uh, so this is... Um, I think what this is going to be is you and Anya like visiting her friends and having like like very casual conversations about what's going on without committing to anything until you kind of latch in on like oh yeah that one sounds good. Um, so you'd go and hang out in her like uh, uh, I was going to call it a solarium, which is kind of a weird thing in Duskwall because there's no. <laughs> it's a word no one knows what it means or where it came from. Well, uh, it might it might be a room without chemical lights. Uh, oh, I get it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so it's a solarium. I, okay, nice. Hey. <laughs> or uh, if it's mystically fueled, a soul area. <laughs> mm. Yeah, it is. It's this. It's this crazy like. It's painted. It has this this mechanical wall uh, that's painted like this really bright blue color for some reason, and it all has these like white streaks on it, and then a big yellow circle painted for some reason. Uh, it, it's this like ancient depiction of the sky, uh, <laughs> and it's it's lit by uh, these electroplasmic lamps that have been. These these weird filters have been put on them that makes all the light kind of golden colored, which is instead of bluish like normal lights, um, and that the thing got gradually the wall like turns 
on, a, on an axis and painted so is nice the, stars. Is, is the lack of sun just a dusk wall thing, or is that like... I it's pretty much the whole world. Uh, right. Pretty much the whole world, yeah. There, there are some exceptions to that, but they're really weird, legendary, strange things that right. people... It's not a real like, thing. Like like water on Arrakis kind of thing. Like It exists somewhere yeah, yeah, in the yeah. universe. Not you on this see, planet. You can see the sun. It's this like horrible little cinder burning in the black fog of the sky, but um, the big, huge burning orb is like some legendary thing that nobody believes in, really. Cool. So, yeah, so you're there, and she, she entertains guests for a long time, for like 18 hours or something. <laughs> Um, people come and go and have tea and cakes and do drugs and um, slink off into the bedrooms of the manor house and stuff. So it's a long process, but let's see what you can acquire from that, how good your your invite is. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. Oh, That's yeah. a bam. That is a critical invite. <laughs> Damn. That is exceptional quality. So, holy shit. You've got an invite to match your... You've path. got a golden ticket to the Willy Wonka of drugs. So you have, you have the... You, you sample the young nobles of the city over a day and a half and have your pick. So, Straw, can you tell me, like... What's your dream invite scenario? Because uh, you can probably get it if you if you want it. Uh, actually, it's it's less about a dream invite scenario because I think what happens is um, I probably bring some of the tattoo wings and maybe I even show off some of mine, right? Mm -hmm. um, yeah, yeah. And if I can get people interested in this, they're like, oh my god, you know what? My dad and his boring ass bogies are having this party, but all the cool people are going to be there and this is how it is and they've got this like person of note etc 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 but this person's gotten sick and you can have their invite i'm like yes <laughs> yes this is what i want cool i will do you even one better with your exceptional please result. bring it you get that and also one of the one of the noble kids uh, let's give them a name uh oh, where are my names so winter uh, Dunville. Dun Dunville is his family name. Oh, all right. Uh, Aurora Dunville is his name. It's an old family name. He hates it, probably. Uh, <laughs> they make great cigarettes. Yeah, that's right. He, he, he's like, yeah, there's this thing going on. Uh, it'd be perfect. Um, but also, there, he's going to invite people to a like secret tattoo party at that party. So it's there's a thing going on on the surface, and then there's like to a the nested party. parties. Yeah, the secret party. He's gonna like tell people like, oh, you come to this party, but there's a, the, there's like the secret party that's happening. So maybe that'll become a thing, a tattoo party. Maybe, yeah, yeah. You should come to my tattoo party. I've got fresh new reds from Aruvia. <laughs> nice. Rocket, uh, so Cantor, yeah, you're totally gonna get like the golden ticket invite, uh, and uh, you can. I can't. You can impress I your cannot. I cannot promise. I can't. I can't stress this enough. I cannot promise that will not fuck this up. Just so. <gasps> so I would say too, like, so given, given the result of that maneuver there, Strach, like this, that could be a score potentially, like taking the equipment there and doing it on site and you know what I mean? Like it, it's, it, you acquired an asset, but it also kind of opens the door to Let's an actual do it. Let's job. Do it. Um, if you, yeah, if you want to. Um, yeah, that sounds cool. All right, I have spent all our monies, but I figured out jobs and we will make more monies and we'll steal clients nice. from the red sashes. Back to RC, I'm out. <laughs> nice. No, I was going to go after Keel, but I feel like you just got us a job with the nobles, and that's, like, close enough. So I'll go after Keel, like, next <laughs> downtime. Um, I'm just going to sleep around some more. Um, <laughs> it's fair. Uh, is, there one, is there one coin left in the copper, or did you blow all four of them, Shrash? Oscar? I blew all of them. I'm sorry. What? I blew all of them. I'm sorry, but we'll make more. Yeah, we got it's nothing fine. now. 
No, it's all good. I got I got two in my like personal, so I'm blowing one of those because my because uh, my my loving was not uh, relaxing enough. Wasn't sufficient. <laughs> it wasn't sufficient because I was like seeping pus out of my side. Stop! You're so gross. <laughs> Ew. Um, Why would anyone want to be anywhere near you? Ew. So, I, didn't mention, I didn't mention any needles, Adam. I'm being nice to you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and and uh, you can also spin rep um, to take extra downtime because you kind of like take extra time and kind of fall off the radar a little bit. Uh, but coin is Save fine. it. Save it. Oh, yeah, no. I think we're, I think we're looking to fast track tier two, so I'm not going to blow a rep. That's fine. Okay. I got coin. That's cool. That's cool. Uh, I don't think we need to roll play it out because I think we're getting real close to being ready for a break. So I'm just gonna roll if that's okay. Yeah, it's it's back to bed with Marlene A after Quellen's treatment. Like you're feeling real good. Like this yeah. doesn't hurt, and you're all you're 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 ready to go. Totally. Yeah. 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 Uh oh. You got six. Uh -oh. Yeah, I got Dude. a six, but Dude. I only have five stress. Oh. <laughs> Too much oh, doing it. it. Uh oh. Ah, oh, we get to find out the indulgence rules. Yeah, yeah we do. All my yeah, so This is this is a, a new a new thing, but um vices are not uh something you can just control. So when you overdo it, when you heal more stress than you have, you overindulge in your vice. Yeah. Uh which means somewhere in the acquisition or under its influence, you make a bad call. Uh yeah. So something something goes awry. Yeah. In some way. Um, well, um, so, so you can. Uh, so Sean, the way it works now uh, is you can select an entanglement. Yeah. Um, or roll if you want to roll, or you can just take plus two heat because of what you've done. So you have you have some options. Oh, okay. Um, I can select an entanglement. Okay. Yeah. Uh, it. The main reason I well so. We should also say where you are. So, because you just got your wanted level, you've kicked down to the level zero to three side of the entanglements uh, yeah. column. <clears throat> so, the 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 question here is, what do you do because of your overindulgence with Marlene? Like, where where does that carry you, or what? Yeah. Does, what I that think is? Uh, I think it's going to cause gang trouble. Okay. And, and it's, oh, it's, oh, interesting. Typical. Okay. Uh, well, it's, since since we've already been playing with that, right? Like, um, so RC's RC's uh, vice, or at least it used to be. I mean, it was originally like associations, like people, and then it was lovers, and now it's pleasure. It's like changed around a lot, but but it was kind of always intended to be plural. Like that's always like part of RC's yeah. thing. She's got a husband that she still says she loves, but she's like sleeping around all the time. So, yeah. uh, so I think it's, I think it's Marlene, and I think it's uh, simply because he's been named. I think it's like Cyclops, and I think they're having a good time. Um, and suddenly, it's like this: who's the cool kids that get to have sex and look like, like? I, uh, yeah. I, right. I think so, the, some internal tension uh, because RC's picking favorites. And absolutely. And the gang, so the, it, this is great because gang trouble happens because of their drawback, which is savage. Yeah, right. I think they get into a fight with each other. Like, it's totally, like, totally. Cyclops, like, leaves the house. Like, yeah, and Oscar, like, you're, you're in the kitchen making your tea and you see, like, Cyclops, like, staggers out of the, out of, RC's room and like puts his hand on the wall and is like, like oh my god, <laughs> and, and, and is like buttoning up his clothes and like wanders off. Uh, and then the the next day there's the showdown. Uh, yeah, because he of course he opened his mouth about it. Yeah, he did. He was supposed to shut up, but and he bragged or something. This somebody is the first else time with, with with Cyclops. So yeah, yeah. So you get to choose. You can lose face because of this. Yeah. Uh, your 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 rep drops equal to your tier plus one, so you lose two rep. 
uh, because you can't you can't control your guys. Like it, the word gets out that that the you know shit is right. yeah. going wrong. Here. You can make an example of one of the gang members, um, <laughs> or face reprisals from the wronged party, which might be Marlene in this case. Oh, that's tasty. That's really good. Um. Uh, I think I'm gonna, I think, oh, pacing or prices for Marlene. Nah, I like Marlene. If um, you want, if you want impetus, uh, Oscar White, uh, actually give you, it's not really a scolding. So no, much man, you don't want to get Im impotence. That's a bad deal. <laughs> you don't want that. <laughs> no. You gotta, no, no, no. no that's, yeah. don't do it. Uh, Oscar, don't listen Oscar to him. Totally, <laughs> Oscar could totally tell you to, uh, to, you know. Get your shit in order and, and fix the problems. So you could yeah. easily get into a scrap with someone and have to make. Yeah, an I'm gonna I'm gonna make an example out of one of them. Um, and like I feel like we need to name more of our crew because I kind of think I need to make an example. Of Cyclops for opening his big fat fucking mouth and like bringing this and bringing this trouble to our crew. I agree. Uh, yeah, not, I think so. You you're you're down there at the at the parlor like doing your normal like coming by, you know, the, 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 the people who run the gang, like you stop by the tattoo parlor and you take, yeah. look, look, you look, you look at the current count and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and Ix, the guy with the Mohawk, uh, Ix, there we go. Now we got more names. We can mess with people's lives. Yeah. He, he kind of does the whole, like, eh, eh, like, like, like elbows Cyclops when you walk through the door. Yeah. Kind of like, yeah, brother. Like, nice, nice. Yeah. And you and you realize that he's been talking. And Cyclops is like, go, kind of goes white. Uh, and then and you look around the room and you see all the gang members kind of looking you up and down and like, mm. yeah, like I'm a piece of meat. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. I love it. Um, and Cyclops is just like frozen and not looking at you, and it's just like, uh, oh. Yeah. What do you what do you do to make an example of him? Um so he's the problem, but like I mean him talking is the problem, but like people thinking it's okay to uh like jeer at, oh, people like losing respect for RC is really uh, and and frankly like the leadership as it were is really yeah, you, you can kind of tell like they think that this is maybe a thing yeah you know like that's the way things are like you sleep with the gang and they're they're in the gang you know what i mean so it's uh, not quite going that way super hard but it's leaning in that direction yeah right um, like who's his total like rock steady guy that he like leans on all the time that he needs that like he sends to do important jobs like that is like his like one of his more reliable dudes. Uh, yeah. So the it's the there were there were two original dudes. Well, I think we only named Cyclops because he got involved and like threatened you. Yeah. But there's the other guy that used to that used to run the place under the red sashes with him. Yeah. His partner. Uh, actually, it's not a it's not a guy. It's a woman. Um, it's okay. Uh, Bricks is her name. Nice. Bricks. Yeah. She's uh, uh, she's a lot like Cyclops. It's like she's a little bit older. She's all scarred up from her Leviathan hunting days. And yeah, uh, that's not quite who I was looking for. I was looking for one of the like leering dudes. See, I don't oh, think no, I, no, she's leering. She's she's leering plenty. Okay, that's yeah. fine. Yeah. Um, I'm not like, like I'm, I'm trying to figure, I'm going to inflict violence. Um, th like, I'm not sure what the shape of it's going to be, but it's going to be, uh, very, like I'm looking at, at, uh, I'm looking at Cyclops and I'm making it very clear that this is his, uh, this is like his punishment. Oh, it's, it's like, like you're looking at him and like, kind of anybody else. Yes. Nice. And I was just, like lean in, like like it's going to be like something, like it's going to be like intimate. And I'm like, oh, have you heard? 
and I like kind of pretend like I'm gonna like give her a kiss or something like that, and then I just don't yeah. like like gut punch her and just like beat that. Out of her. Head. And uh, basically, like make Cyclops watch as I disable one of his people. Um, she's not gonna be functional for a while. She's gonna be spitting up blood for a long time. Um, and okay. Uh, yeah. Anyway, yeah. you want me to roll skirmish like to do this? Yeah. Let's see. So this is um, a fortune roll. We're gonna see how bad it is. Is it a little bad or is it really bad? <laughs> is it bad or like really fucked up bad? All right. And, it, and it, like I think you could potentially go too far. If you crit on this, you might just take her out. Okay. That's um, that's fine. That's definitely I, mean, I like how I like how you're like I lean in like it's gonna be something intimate, but I mean beating the shit out of someone's pretty intimate too. <laughs> it's true. It's true. Uh, I should have been more. If you roll really well, she's gonna be super into it, and we'll have missed <laughs> the point completely. Yeah. Uh, right now, I lean in like it was going to be affectionate. Yeah, that, uh, I knew that was the wrong word because it's definitely <laughs> um, like like I'm anybody's for the taking. And then make sure that that's in, in very very clear that it's not the case. Yeah. Yeah. Um, awesome. So, what am I rolling for a fortune roll? Am I rolling my skirmish or am I rolling? Yeah. Okay. Skirmish yeah. sounds good. Yeah. So I want to roll low because I don't want to. I'm kind of confused as like how I want to roll on that. <laughs> I, well, I mean, okay. you're, Let's see what happens. Yeah, you're making an example. Roll and me a turp. It wasn't a crit. No. No. This is, so we're rolling to see how much of an example you make. I make a lot of like, an example, uh, apparently. A low roll here would have been like, okay, RC's tough. I don't want to cross her, but, you know, I might take my chances. Uh, a six means you you pound her unconscious and, and give her a permanent, or not permanent, but give her a long-term injury. Um, yeah. She's going to be laid up in bed, all swollen up and, and debilitated for weeks. Uh, because of Cyclops' loose slips. Yep. And, and everybody gets the message. Like, no no one steps in. They don't do anything. They don't get involved at all. They don't, like, do the savage gang thing and, like, jump in and cheer. No, nothing like that. They just, they all kind of, like, freeze and kind of look away slightly, and you're like, bang, 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 boom. And Bricks doesn't really fight back much either. Like, she kind of... Yeah is what's happening <laughs> and like the punishment is being meted out she tries to cover up a little bit and you don't let her and you just finish her uh, off it's it's ugly it's bloody like your knuckles are all scraped up and you've got blood splattered on your face and they you don't have to say anything else right you can just walk you just walk away yep that, that's all that i i like grab the i grab the the count i grab like the whatever i was coming to pick up and walk out like I've got the the coin in hand, and it's like blood's dripping from my knuckles into the into the bag. Like like that's what I was here to do. Uh, so there, there's a thing that we should deal with uh, on on the site, but we should take our break because we've yeah. been it's way overdue. Well, I was gonna say we can we could just probably just go through now because we got what like 20 minutes left. Oh really? Oh yeah. shit! Sorry, I just did, I just noticed that. Yeah, yeah. sorry cool. guys. I thought like, oh, we'll we'll buzz through this. But then, <laughs> yeah, that's cool. I mean, yeah, there's if we take a break now, then we're only gonna get 15 minutes out of the end anyway. So let's just right, right, this. right. Okay, that's cool. So, um, RC, the thing you notice when you're down there is Cyclops and and Bricks and the other guys and the the shop. They have um, brick dust and like mortar splatter on their clothes. And there's like a bucket next to the stairs that go down into the cellar with like... Uh, so you beat, you beat bricks so hard she got turned into dust. Good job. <laughs> now she's everywhere. I thought turned to bricks. <laughs> there's, there's cement in the, in the bucket and like a, a trowel and uh, uh, some other like stuff kind of like leaned up against the corner there. Right. Like they've been recently been doing some masonry. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Uh, can I see, like, if they, like, like masoned off the basement? Did they, like, just leave people downstairs and, like, say, nope, we're not going to deal with any more of this? And just. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If, if you, like, go downstairs, um, 
they've they've remodeled the the cellar. Uh, yeah. It's it's all been cleared out. A a hole has been cut in the floor that goes into the canal, and it they've built this really nice circular sort of fountain pool thing that's about three feet high. It's filled with dark water. The bricks are inscribed with weird glyph writing all around the edge of it. Sweet. And so it's like a circle and then a channel goes out the back and out into the back wall that's like low, like the wall comes down like this and the, and the water is like flowing out. So the water flows in this narrow channel and then fills this big basin that's been built in the floor. Yeah. Uh, and you can see under the water are some of the infected um, bodies. And you look really closely because they look, they must be dead, right? You look really closely and you see their chest rising and falling and they're like breathing the water maybe. Yeah. Um, and there's bits of their skin that are like floating in the pool and under, you know, this weird scaly growths are underneath. Right. Just typical, typical infected. Uh, I but love this how weird uh, ritual pool has been built in the in the in the I basement. love how resourceful our guys are. This is awesome. They're just like, hmm, these seem to need some water to live in. So we'll yeah, build this them. Is, this is way above their pay grade. Like none of them would ever think to do this. Right. This seems like a total Oscar move. Um, all right. So like I gotta get to the bottom of this. This doesn't seem to be the time. I'm gonna ask Oscar later. So Okay. Just, just make like, a mental huh. note. Yeah. Mental and note. Ask Oscar about fucked up demon hybrid aquarium thing. Later. <laughs> Later though. Not now. Yeah. Um I don't know. I think uh I think if like the boss has been away for a few moments and then returns, the uh the mood might reset somewhat. Uh, yeah, like when you come back up, uh Ix is gone and Brix is gone. They're all the other names rhyme. Um, Stevie Nicks is gone. <laughs> they, 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 they've, they've carried her away. <laughs> Cyclops is over, like trying to look busy, uh, doing nothing. Um, yeah. And she, but yeah, like things have cleared out a little bit. That's actually good then. Then I can like pull them out of the stupor and let them know it's all good now, now that they know what's what. So um, I grab one of them, like, did Oscar tell you to do that? So like, what? No, I did nothing. What? <laughs> <laughs> that pool. What? Downstairs. Fucking like I kick one of the buckets. I'm like your fucking masonry project. Did Oscar tell you he's, to do that? He's got like brick dust in his beard and some mason masonry cement on his shirt, and he's like, what? Like, he looks totally bewildered. Like, he doesn't know what you're talking about. Um, do you want me to hurt you? Like, like, he, he, like he takes a big step backwards is like, no, no. It, All right. I don't care that you what, did it. Somebody tell me what's up with the pool downstairs. And I kind of scan the room to see, like, what's going on. Like, Cyclops what? turns around. Like, like he's, he's covered in stuff, too. He's like, what? What are you talking about? Oh, I put two and two together. Okay. So, so like they don't know they did it. They're no, they don't know, they don't know. Oscar. Cyclops, it, like his his wheels turn for a minute. And he's like, well, though I mean the boss was here. Which boss? I'm the boss. Yeah, no, uh, and and they're like, yeah, yeah, you're, yeah, yeah, no, you're the boss, you're the boss. <laughs> Cyclops is like, no, no, I, I mean the like your boss. Oh, I get it, my boss. Look, boys, you're my boys. You don't fucking take orders from anybody else. And they're like, no, we would never do that. Remember that next time. Ne what? They're like no. super confused. Yeah, like, I leave. Do anything wrong? Yeah. Please. Please don't hurt me. Uh, all right, awesome. I, uh, I, no, I get it. I, I leave. Oscar. All right. 
your uncles would cause him trouble. Yeah, that's what I'm guessing. <laughs> He's making a point. I'm taking away his favorite toy. He's decided to uh, meddle. Uh, yeah. We might have to come to an understanding, but we'll figure that out. Yeah, it's all good. It's not my problem. <laughs> not my problem. You learned it. I've got a particularly canter like view of this you issue. You know how it works, yeah. <laughs> That's right. Well, my general loathing for Leviathans and everything related is just increasing. And, like, uh, the only reason it's even a problem is that we're continuing to be affiliated with it, but uh, but the particulars between you and your uncle are family business. It's so, so yeah. when, you, when you go back to uh, Skurlock Manor, do you do you bring this up or do you just let it lie for now? Um. I don't know. Like, I'm not necessarily going to conceal it, but when I come back, like, Oscar, are you all about the, the new party that Kendra's going to and the plans for that? And is that hot on your mind, or is there time yeah, for like? Yeah, I think the- I think we I think we need to nail down the business, and then once we do that, um, we got to clean up house. Yeah, I feel like this is going to be a conversation that RC has, like, once Kendra's gone off to, like, go to this party and shit, and, like, she's sitting there with Oscar, I mean, like, oh, by the way. Sort of like you, oh, by the way, your husband's looking for you? <laughs> you know. <laughs> yeah, bad. So I don't want to, like, hide it. I just don't think it should take, like, precedence. I agree. We want to do our business. We'll deal with, deal with family stuff in a bit. So. All right. Cool. Uh, do we want to start some crime in with our 15 minutes remaining? Do we want to do we want to close up and do XP? Um, yeah, I don't know. I Let's... feel like I feel like this crime will be pretty low key. We're going to a party and we're tattooing some yeah, people. Yeah, see, you say that though, but it's Cantor going to a party, man. I'm gonna make it not low key. I, I want to see it though. I want to see Cantor do this. Yeah, though. but I want to like. Do we? I mean, I guess. Okay, this is the thing. Is this our next score? Do we make the next session about the party? Or do we do? It could, it could be, yeah. Because I kind of feel like that's where we're where we're headed with this, right? Yeah. And then it's just a. Fun. Well, I think okay. if it's like Kendra goes and does the thing, and you're gonna make a roll or two, then let's do it now. If it's like all three of us are involved in some way, and this is some elaborate deal, then yeah, it should be. Yeah, I want it. I feel like I want it to be an elaborate deal. I kind of like that. Yeah. All right. Plus, I think it'll be fun. We haven't done anything like that as a group before. Like so far, it's been all like, you know. Skullduggery and and shooting and stuff. Shoot, It'd be fun yeah. to put us out of our element and see how that looks. Yep. And give it some space to breathe. Yeah, sure. uh, I think. I mean, and that's we're on pace basically. Like we play for a couple hours and like downtime score in a four hour period is kind of the standard block, or maybe two scores with a downtime. Mm-hmm. So we're on we're on pace for kind of breaking it up that way. Um, there are, uh, I guess there's two more entanglements that I could, that I could surface, uh, so that next time, like there, we don't have to, we can go to the score and these things can already be kind of out. Yeah. Uh-huh. And then we can do XP. So two, two things. One is very simple. Uh, Basho Baz sends a, very well dressed uh, and and e- easily blending in um, one of his one of his killers in a carriage uh, to to Skrullock Manor to invite you to come meet with Basho uh, at your earliest convenience. Um, he'd like to talk to you, uh, and basically for the same reason you want to talk to him, it's pretty obvious that you have things. To- uh, the other is. Slightly more troubling. Um, let me see which of your contacts this comes through. Oh, right, LaRose. Um, so, um, as you're at Scorlock Manor, like planning the next score at the party, uh, LaRose, the blue coat, one of your contacts, comes to see you. And he remembered that RC, you knew someone named Harrington that yeah. had something to do with your business. 
Name rings a bell. Oh, sorry. Name rings a bell. Right. So he like he doesn't know the details of your operation. He doesn't know Harrington like supplies your Leviathan blood or anything. He just knows yeah. that you know him. Um, he says, "Yeah, uh, they they got him. They got him down at the watchtower. Um, he 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 got nabbed. I don't know why. I don't know why they were looking for him. Maybe they weren't. Maybe it was just a patrol he ran into. But they're saying that he's got contraband, like a lot of it, and." Uh, we're supposed to hold him. Uh, magistrates writing up papers for an arrest right now. Yeah, oh, man. So that that'll take not about a week, a week or so to process him. Yeah. Um, not not to worry. I think we have a magistrate on payroll. Um. Yeah. We possibly. do. No, we do. Roland Watt. Roland Watt. Yeah. yeah. He's a contact. So yeah, basically he's just letting you know that Blue Coats grabbed Harrington and they're gonna they're gonna try to get him on contraband uh, on smuggling charges if they can. Yeah, yeah I, I will let everybody know about that because that's our that's our single source right now. Yeah. Uh, so you, we got you still got you still got supply for the next phase of your operation, but after that, yeah, you'll ha you'll need to <laughs> deal with that problem somehow. Uh yeah, we got to either pay pay off that magistrate or break him out or whatever, but we're not losing that uh, that connection. Yeah, so you you guys know the ins and outs of the of criminal justice here. It's you're looking at where in is the Duskwall criminal system. <laughs> doom doom. <laughs> uh, questioning where is it? Uh, you're looking at about a three coin bribe. Um, or you can attack it some other way. Uh, so that's that's roughly the right kind of ballpark for paying somebody off. So we're either gonna like do the when is this party happening? Is it with less time than the the magistrate's gonna take to process? process? We said we got a week before you. Yeah, we do the we do the party first, and then we have to deal with that thing. That well, that's something to make sure. When is the party? Is it closer than a week? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So we may be taking all the money we make from this party just to fucking get Harrington out. Harrington. We if may. If you want to go with bribery, yeah, that would be, that would be, it'd be expensive. Yeah, I'm not saying we can't get him out other ways, but like, I'm not above breaking him out, but then that causes We more. may, but there are simpler solutions here. Yeah, like leave him in jail? Yeah, no. I think, uh, well, if, if your group, if your group does not protect its own, no, we don't. No, no, we don't protect him. This is a risk that fucking people gotta take when they're in the gang. We take care of his people, right? Like if he's got a fucking baby mama or some kids or some shit, we take care of them till he's done his bid, and then he's back in. But like, we can't. Like, we're not gonna fucking bust a dude out of jail. That's crazy talk. Well, no, of course not. But we might be able to convince the magistrate not to sign the document. Sure. Yeah. yeah. Totally. That's that's right. a that's an angle, but we'll see if this magistrate's like, and if you know what, and in the like worst case scenario, the magistrate like won't like wants a bigger bribe than we're willing to give or whatever. We let this dude go to jail. We re-educate this fucking magistrate for next time, and then exactly. just let it let it go, right? Like he may need to spend some time, but yeah. So does that mean we're gonna start getting Leviathan blood from your girlfriend? Because well, I mean, we'll figure it out. We'll see. We gotta we gotta see how the we gotta see how this plays out. We can't make a bunch of plans right now. Sure. We also do know the leader of a smuggling gang. If we need to get supplies, we can get supplies. Yeah, but we have a good thing. Let's not fuck it up. Yeah, no, well, I mean, no, it already no, got no, fucked no. up because your your fucking guy got caught. But yeah, yeah. And we'll, try to, we'll try to unfuck this situation as best we can. That sounds good. Let's do that. Let's not talk anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So basically, this is a manifestation of a normal entanglement plus your current wanted level. It's it's like it's kind of serious now. Like they yeah. grabbed him, and it's not just inconvenient. They're actually going to try to put him away. Yeah, yeah. It's that little bit higher. Well, and what and what uh, RC is trying not to reveal because she knows that Cantor will uh, respond negatively to is that like Harrington's her friend, and this is this started off as a, as like a friend that backed her and like yeah, helped her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. So she's trying mm -hmm. to play like it's just business. 
Like he's oh, not really a criminal, really. Like he he's do he is doing this as a favor for RC essentially. Exactly. So she's trying to pretend like this is all about you know not messing up business, but for her this is personal and she doesn't want to screw him over. Sure. Um, also, there's a real legit risk that he knows our operation. Like yeah. if they do break him, like. Yeah, there's that's something that we'll deal with where we'll 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 roll to see if he if they break him down or if he says anything. But or, Archie's holding on to that one for when Cantor says, "Oh, we're just gonna find the life and blood somewhere else." That will be her her uh, impetus to try and get the gang get the get the crew uh, back on back on plan, get rid free Harrington. So yeah, yeah, that's cool. That's good. I like it. We're cool. okay. All right. Well, let's do XP. Okay. And wrap it up. Cool, cool. Downtime session or uh, half sessions are not as XP friendly as That's true, especially as for me. <laughs> Or yeah, jobs, okay. but um, I mean, really, if we wanted to, because we have kind of just played half a session, we we could just do it next time. Uh, nah, let's do it. Okay. Uh, I I think that there's enough here that we can at least like nudge it over, and then we'll just next time there'll be some fun and action, and we'll figure it out from there. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Um, okay, RC. Start All with right. you. Uh, I did not have any desperate roles. No. Nope. Uh, I did address the tough challenge of violence or threats. Yeah, um, I, I, I nope. dealt with the problem I, I created with violence. That was that was good stuff. Yeah. Right yeah. <laughs> um, if I expressed my beliefs, drives heritage or background. Um, I don't know. I think I uh, have made it pretty clear that I've got a best interest in hurting Keel um, because he's trying to hurt my husband. I feel like that came out. Um, yeah, and I think Cantor yeah. actually kind of agreed with it for the first time, too. You you sort of, like, put it on the table as a thing to do, and it was sort of accepted into the gang, unlike yeah. like last time. Yeah, yeah. I mean, this time you kind of gave, gave us a reason to, right? We were like, yeah. we can use this yeah, money to bankroll our efforts. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. yeah, it wasn't huge. Um, and uh, all summer XP if you struggled issues with your vices or traumas during the session. Uh, I overindulged and uh, yeah, problems in the gang. And totally did. So yeah, some in America, one for each of those then. One for beliefs and one for indulgence. Word. That's it. So four total for you? Uh, I think just three. One three. for... Okay. Tough oh, yeah. violence. Sorry. Yeah. Got it. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I don't, I mean, like, I disdain the Leviathan trade that we're in, but I don't really feel like that came out in a meaningful way when I was interacting with them about the, uh... yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I wasn't like, this is awful. We need to destroy this. It was just, okay, this is fucked up. Yeah. All right. Cantor. Uh, so, yeah. Similarly, like, no desperate actions. Um, I didn't address any challenges with violence or threats this time, surprisingly, for me. Yeah, crazy. Um, I think really the only thing, and I don't know whether this would be, like, heritage or background, but just, like, starting to pursue my, my goal of, like, something, like, bigger. With, yeah, with a sure. drive, perhaps? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's not really my vice, like, it's, or anything like that, it's just, like, yeah, like, I want to, because my character, like, Cantor's, like, a shitty orphanage nobody, right? And he kind of, like, wants to have family. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Okay, cool. Boop, boop. I will put it in um, prowess, so I'm five-sixths of the way there, I guess. Is that how it works? I can just put it wherever I want? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. Done. Five-sixths of the way towards the prowess point. So close. Yeah, so very close. Oscar. All right, so I didn't have any desperate actions either, uh, but I do feel like I've addressed problems with knowledge. 
Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Cool. Um, one XP, two XP. Um, I feel like you. I mean, you kind of masterminded at least two. Well, one, two plans. One was the how are we going to navigate things within uh, Crow's Foot? Like, we got all these gangs. How are we going to work on them? And the other ones, how are we going to like insinuate ourselves in high society? And and those maybe we had those in the same conversation, but the actions you took were separate for those. So I, I feel like it's two. Cool. Uh, next up, uh, have I expressed beliefs, drives, heritage, or background? Uh, I definitely think that there are some drives. You guys are starting to see Oscar kind of showcase why he's in this game and what he kind of brings to the gang other than just creepy shit. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, and I th I think my heritage is definitely rearing its ugly head here. Yeah, I think your uncle coming in and like screwing our shit is definitely. <laughs> That's one way of putting it. Yep. Uh, I mean, and yeah. Uh, and uh, I will point out that even though I took like a gazillion t actions, none of them were vice recovery. So I'm going to start with two stress because I have a trauma. Yeah. Word. Yeah, so I think you're like I'm thinking two XP for addressing challenges and also another two for showing your heritage in the form of, of a Skurlock family and your drives. Yeah. That's what that's what I vote for. Yeah, you were cool. you were the planner this time around for sure. Yeah. Uh so I, I have a I have a question. You guys get to help me decide. Two XP is gonna go into personal and personal is immediately gonna complete because I had six in it already. Nice. So I'm debating whether I should get Warded, which will give me mystical armor, or if I should get Occultist, which allows me to consort with ancient powers, forgotten gods, and demons. Come on, man. You yeah. already know which one you want to pick. <laughs> okay, good. It's Occultist. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you, uh, we we okay. know. You know. Everybody knows. That's the one Armor is not as exciting as mystical as ancient I mean, the armor's cool and stuff, but like, I feel like that was a question you just wanted us to tell you to pick the one you already want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. the armor is much more tactical and strategic and will help me in the long run, but hot damn is it not nearly as interesting. Mm. Uh, so I have two XP left over, and I'm immediately going to dump them into Resolve because I'm trying to bump my consort up to two so that Occultus then becomes cooler. And that's yeah. what I'm doing. Cool. Nice. That's good. Yeah, I dropped my three into prowess. Yeah. Cool. Because I'm going to get some wrecking. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Just be there. Yeah, nobody has any wreck at the moment. Yeah. Yeah, well, it used to be that Wreck and uh, used to be RC style of fighting was mayhem, which was like right. both wrecking and stabbing. And clearly, the stabbing was more important. But I do want the eventual like getting that mayhem back again. So I kind of want to recapture that point uh, and get some get some wrecked. wrecked. Uh, just thinking like when we need to like blow open a wall to like get somebody out of a said jail, like. I want RC to be ready to do that. Uh, nice. Absolutely. Yeah, that's awesome. And, uh, yeah. So. All right. Uh, crew stuff. I don't know that you did anything for that. I've got the old crew sheet, but we acquired a product. I mean, like... Um, Improve your product's quality, variety, or prestige. We're working, we're working towards it. I feel like these are going to come after the party. I don't know. What keep in that? mind, keep in mind, when I did my downtime, I totally tattooed some people, and that's how I got the invite to the cool tattoo party. So I definitely acquired cool. new clientele and improved prestige. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah that's true. That's true. Um, yeah, it doesn't have to be a permanent thing. Like, you, you, you did it. Right, uh, okay. Yeah. So yeah, that 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 totally makes sense. Let's let's take two for that. Cool. What's our what? I have three ticks on our crew advancement, but I think it's kind of old. How many ticks are you showing in our current crew advancement? Mine has three as well. Like yeah. Yeah. Three. Three, three was what I was expecting to have on there from last session. Yep. Oh, okay. Cool. So that's correct. Throw up to that's five. Right. And that's five. the last question is: Did we contend with any challenges above our current situation? Uh, because I feel like we haven't, but we did encounter them, right? Like, we've got some pushback coming in from, uh, we've got some nobility hunting us. Bajo Baz is starting to come to talk to us. Uh, we definitely got, um, what's-his-face, coming in and messing with our business, uh, yeah. old man's girl. Yeah. 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 Ye
Yeah. Yeah, I, 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 I don't think we contended with any of them. I just think we were made aware of them, and now we have our choice of who to contend with next time. So, so close. One away. And that sweet new upgrade. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> we should, I, we I'm should actually, think on what we yeah, want. Yeah, we should definitely do. decide what we want. Yeah. Um, I think we should bump up leisure and increase our recovery. Because uh, wounds I, are really shit, yo. So I have a question. Uh, since we got a star, right? Like, the star is a new development. Uh, is that improving our reputation? Oh, because of your wanted level? Kind of. Uh, I mean, now when we say Six Towers Gang, the response is not going to be, Ooh. Who? Star Lord, man. <laughs> <laughs> um, we can also save it for next time. Yeah, let's sure let's let's ponder it in between, yeah. uh, and we'll I come think, up with it next time. Yeah, that's borderline. Um, that's good. We'll we'll nail it next time. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I. I I, I know it'd be it'd be cleaner to like go ahead and level up now and get a new thing and move on. Um, That's why I'm not pushing because cleaner. Eh, I prefer to do it legit. Yeah, yeah. I think it's as, a as little. As much as we're crying. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. right. Uh, cool. That is all of our business. Alrighty. Wait. You guys are prepared for. A new type of score, going to a party in a yeah. fancy town. Get a party a place on. And not shoot people in the face, Adam. Oh, I'm so excited to shoot people in the face at this party. <laughs> I, I'm excited to see how, how that how that how it works out too. Be good. <laughs> I've seen Die Hard. I know how parties are. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're really nice and there's lots of booze and cocaine until yeah. the guns. Until it gets nasty, yeah. I'm not right. sure. I'm coast. not sure whether right I'm not sure whether we're John, we're John McClane or we're Hans Gruber in this situation. We're totally Hans. Well, I mean, I think we're probably Hans Gruber. Okay, all right. Well, we're gonna Keep Gruber up. I am an exceptional thief. We're gonna Gruber up this party. Um, and keep in mind, party. keep in mind that we are specifically doing this party as part of an action to undermine and steal and from the. You just know though that John is gonna be like, "Yeah, you're at this party," and you go into the fucking bedroom, and there's just fancy coats everywhere. <laughs> Like you just know, like yeah. <laughs> My God, it's full of coats. Weird books and sexy people. Yeah, see, right? There's gonna be loads of people to bang, secret libraries, and fancy clothes to steal. So it's gonna be great. It'll be perfect. We're just gonna go and have a great. Old you guys time. know rich people have a whole room for their coats. Yeah, <laughs> the coat room. They call it a coat room. Yeah. That's it. Totally. Cantor just spends the first half of the party in the coat room because he thinks that's where the party is. Like, He's just like doing why would I want to leave this room? Oh, <laughs> uh, dude, what what happens to Cantor? It's a coat party, place and somebody offers to take his coat. Like, He's like, "Fuck you!" <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's totally overreacts. Don't touch my coat. <laughs> no, <laughs> stop it! You're using up my A material for next time. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. Oh, man. Awesome. Right, this is going to be fun. Cool. And uh, I think it's genuinely amazing and beautiful that Cantor and Arcee are actually like on the same page in the session. Well, it's, enjoy it while it lasts, because I, I don't see it lasting very long. No, I don't either. <laughs> it usually <laughs> lasts while we're making plans. It usually goes yeah. to shit when the plans exactly. actually come to action. Agreed. What I've, what I've realized is that if both of you have purposes, you don't necessarily just fall into cross purposes right so yeah. uh this this is this is the secret oscar solution to i don't want mommy and daddy fighting keep us busy keep yeah. us so busy we can't fight with each other that i mean that works keep for me you, keep you yeah. focused that's really what it's at cool. yeah i'm into it right well, your homework uh, everyone's homework is to play the awesome dishonored um masquerade party level oh, and just yeah. get it in get in your head <laughs> uh and <laughs> cool. be ready. I'm into it. <laughs> cool. Well, thanks, 
thanks yeah. for uh, thanks for running the game for us, John. That was really fun yeah. as always, and yeah. we'll, uh, we'll we'll play Thank again sometime in November, I suppose. Like we do. Yes. We'll yes. Do we will schedule behind the scenes and cool, cool. And I don't know. Maybe if you're watching this on YouTube, you could just go watch the next video right now. You just go watch them all. Maybe it's like click two years from episode. now, or it's like episode forty nine. I don't know. Get to it. Go watch I, some more. I wish I could just click on the next one. I, <laughs> yeah. Can we just do that? Yeah. What, what happens next? <laughs> all right. Well, I'm free for the next three hours, guys. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I got shit to do. This is not that. I don't. I don't need to prepare for New Mexico tomorrow. Yeah, no, it'll Just be do fine. This. Yeah, <laughs> it'll be good. It'll be cool. Good. Well, thanks for uh, thanks for coming, everybody. Thanks for watching, folks in the audience, and uh, we will all see you next time for more Blades in the Dark. Nice. So have a good one. Later. Adios.